and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about mouthpieces, specifically 3D printed mouthpieces. You see, back in the old days, mouthpieces were always made out of metal. Uh, more recently, there have been forays into the experiment of plastic mouthpieces, and they have their own pros and cons, particularly if you're playing in cold environments, a plastic mouthpiece doesn't get, need to get warmed up. But what about 3D printed mouthpieces? Well, ostensibly they should work a bit as well as plastic mouthpieces, I mean they're made out of the same materials, but do they work as well? In this video we are going to find out. Most plastic mouthpieces, or at least so I understand, are made through an injection moulding process. You have a mould, uh, which is the shape of the mouthpiece, and then you get some very hot plastic squirted into that mould. Once it's cooled down you pop the mould open and bingo, you have your mouthpiece. With 3D printing, it's a little bit different. You have an extruder that squirts a line, a small layer of plastic, and it slowly builds that up to get uh, to, to end up with the mouthpiece that you want. This here is an example of a plastic trumpet mouthpiece. This one was made out of plastic PLA material. It uh, has a layer height of 0.05 millimeters, and it looks pretty much like your standard generic mouthpiece. So what does it look like? What does it feel like to play? The first thing to note is that it was printed this way up. So the mouthpiece was on a hard surface there, so the bottom is very flat. Uh, unfortunately, the edges aren't particularly smooth, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you finish printing a mouthpiece is sand the edges to give them a bit of a curve. Otherwise, it feels rotten against your face. Not rotten literally, but it feels pretty awful. However, if we ignore that and decide to go get our trumpet, let's see what it sounds like. Firstly, fits very nicely. There is no issue with the fit there. It, ah. This plastic mouthpiece is the exact same one that I had before. It was just a trick of the light where it appeared that I'd broken it. But this is actually the, the very same mouthpiece. Okay, so I'm going to give you a demo between this mouthpiece and a metal mouthpiece. So, the results. I actually think these two work fairly similarly. The sound that you get from the metal mouthpiece is a bit more brassy, a little bit more, shall we say, malleable, which is a good thing, I believe. The sound from the plastic mouthpiece is a little bit dead, but I think that's more of a characteristic of plastic mouthpieces in general, not just 3D printed mouthpieces. Uh, this first one that I used snapped. And I think that was snapped because the fill material between the inner shell and the outer shell um, was quite sparse, whereas this one is almost solid plastic. Uh, and this one's a lot stronger, whereas this one obviously snapped. So if you're going to get a 3D printed mouthpiece, make sure you get one that is solid, print, that is solidly printed and doesn't have big cavities in the middle of it like this one does.